It's day eight of the Samantha Wool murder trial, and the prosecution is still laying out evidence trying to connect the defendant in this case to the scene of the murder. CBS News Detroit's Gino Vici joins us from the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice with the latest. Gino? Yes, lots of back and forth today about preserving metadata on cell phones belonging to the defendant, Michael Jackson Bolanos, as well as the victim in this case, Samantha Wool. Now, the reason why this is so important to the prosecution and the defense is that location data on the night of the murder in regards to Samantha Wool's location of her last movement and in regard to the defendant, Michael Jackson Bolanos, tracking his movement and matching them to the scene of the murder on the night of October 20th and into the early morning hours of October 21st. We've already seen surveillance footage putting Michael Jackson Bolanos near the scene of the murder. Forensic detectives have not been able to place him based on GPS data at the residence that night. But the prosecution brought up another piece of evidence, an internet search history found on Jackson Bolanos phone indicating that he was searching how to get same-day passports, the defense firing back saying that that internet search history was taken out of context. So you just narrowly tailored your search to just that particular term? without any other searches that may have been around that time? In preparation for court, correct. Okay. Um, yes, I'm going to tailor my review to what is being presented through the exhibits. You didn't see any inquiries, I guess, around that same-day passport as to searches of how to leave the country. You didn't see that, did you? I don't remember seeing that, now. You never saw any type of search that said non-extraditable countries to visit. You didn't see that, did you? Non-extraditable countries to yes. visit? Yes, yes. No, I did not see that. Okay. Now, testimony will resume tomorrow when we expect to hear evidence that was found on Jackson Bolano's jacket, specifically a sample of blood that was allegedly a match to Wool's blood. Again, that is expected tomorrow. In Detroit, Gino Vici, CBS News, Detroit.